UAW strike days How long can the strike last? UAW strike days How long can the strike last? The United Auto Workers, UAW, has a history of negotiating numerous contract agreements with automakers. Here are some significant past UAW contract agreements where the union achieved notable victories for its members. 1937. Flint sit-down strike This strike led to General Motors recognizing the UAW as the bargaining representative for its workers, marking a significant victory for the union. 1950, Chrysler strike The UAW secured wage increases and improved working conditions for Chrysler workers through this strike. 1964, Ford strike The UAW negotiated a groundbreaking three-year contract with Ford, securing significant wage increases and improved benefits for workers. 1970, General Motors strike The UAW strike against GM resulted in wage increases and improved job security for its members. 1973. Oil crisis contract amidst the energy crisis, the UAW negotiated contracts with automakers that included cost-of-living adjustments and protections against layoffs. 1982. Chrysler Loan Guarantee Agreement The UAW made concessions to help save Chrysler from bankruptcy, preserving jobs and benefits for its members. 1998. GM strikes A 54-day strike against GM led to increased wages, improved health care benefits, and job security provisions for UAW members. 2007. GM, Ford, and Chrysler agreements The UAW secured promises to protect jobs and retiree benefits during a challenging time for the American auto industry. 2023 UAW strike, do or die. Mentality The UAW is in a do-or-die situation. The union's membership has been declining for years, and it faces several challenges, including the increasing automation of the auto industry and the growing popularity of electric cars. The union's new president, Sean Fain, has vowed to turn things around. He has made it a priority to organize new members. The UAW's membership is still declining, and the union is facing increasing competition from possible Chinese electric car manufacturers. In addition, the automakers are not eager to give the union any more concessions. The UAW's future is uncertain. But it won't be easy. The automakers are not eager to give the union any more concessions. The UAW needs to find a way to reverse its decline in membership. But even if the UAW can survive, it's not clear what its future looks like. The auto industry is changing rapidly, and the UAW needs to find a way to adapt to those changes. If the UAW can't find a way to adapt, it may become irrelevant. But if it can, it could still play an important role in the auto industry in the years to come. The UAW is at a crossroads. Its future is uncertain, and the union is in a do-or-die situation. The current UAW strike map shows the UAW strike against General Motors and Stellantis is still ongoing. The strike began on September 15, 2023, and has now lasted for over seven days. The union is demanding better wages, benefits, and job security. The automakers have offered some concessions, but the union says they are insufficient. The strike has had a significant impact on the auto industry. General Motors and Stellantis have announced that they will cut production because of the strike. The strike has also had a negative impact on the economies of the states where the automakers have plants. On September 22, 2023, the UAW expanded its strike to include parts distribution centers for GM and Stellantis. This strike expansion is likely to disrupt the auto industry further and put pressure on the automakers to reach a deal with the union. How long can the strike last is anyone's guess. 30 days, 45 days, 60 days or 90 days.